Ninja. We're sharing 10 skill sets you need to be a badass spy. Disclaimer, do not try this at home for entertainment purposes only. Number one, situational awareness. Situational awareness is all about being aware and acting accordingly to what's happening around you. First, we should stay in the OODA loop. The OODA loop stands for observe, orient, decide, act. And that thought loop helps us figure out what we're supposed to be doing next. This coincides with Cooper's color codes, also known as the levels of situational awareness. There are four levels symbolized by a color, describing each level of situational awareness and how we should respond. White, unaware. You could be focusing too much on your phone, lost in thought, or intoxicated. Yellow, you are aware and able to recognize if something or someone is out of place. Orange, you're in a state of heightened awareness and ready to respond. Red, here we are completely focused on the threat and reacting. So understand what's normal, what the baseline is, and what to do if something goes wrong. Number two, having a cover and blending in. You may have to get access to a special area. You'll have to blend in. Act casual, dress accordingly, and have a reason to be there. Are you my deadhead? What about deep cover? You might start your mission at a house, a classroom, a bar, whatever it is, you have to be able to blend in and have a credible background. Infiltrating the mafia? Maybe you're an orphan that knows diamonds better than anybody else. Don the jeweler. That's a fugazi, all right? That's a fugazi. From there, hang it at a bar in Philadelphia. Do some work, gain some credibility, and wait for intel. Or maybe you're a Russian spy. In 2010, Russian spy Anna Chapman made headlines when she was arrested on espionage charges while using the cover of a socialite and real estate agent in New York. Like badass skills and tactics? Sub and hit the bell. Number three, deductions. Looking at a situation and coming up with educated solutions based on what's available will open a lot more opportunities for gaining information and solving crimes. Practice with light deductions first. Looks like a child lives here. Then deeper ones. See what hand he uses to pull his phone out with? And then open the folder? From here we can deduce that he's right-handed. Number four, physical fitness. Should shit hit the fan, a special operative should have great agility and be able to run, climb, and crawl. And do whatever is necessary to get out of a tight situation. Number five, self-defense. If you're involved in deep espionage missions, you may have to fight for your life. Operatives must be fast, strong, and violent. When push comes to shove, strike. Kick the groin, punch the throat, or elbow the nose. Also, keep in mind close quarter restraints and opportunities, multiple attackers, and weapons. Number six, improvised weapons. Anything can be used as a weapon. Be careful though, because the bad guy knows this too. In every house, we're gonna find forks or knives, magazines, or even shoelaces. All of which can be used to subdue. Just knowing that everything can be used as a weapon will start to make everything you see look like a weapon. Number seven, breaching. There are a lot of good reasons for why you need to get into that room. From janitorial duties to leaving your keys at work, or stealing top secret information, getting into places is key. You might have to kick down a door, climb through a window, or pick a lock. No matter the reason, mind your cover and have a good reason for why you're there. Number eight, photography and reporting. So this one is often overlooked or dismissed, but is super practical in life. In situations where this matters, you're usually in a lame atmosphere, a courtroom, an office, or something where your great character gets a little bit stifled. So instead of counting on your great personality, use proper reporting and photographic evidence to prove your point. Learn to take photos from afar and up close and write down events as they happen. People forget what really takes place, and there are two sides to every story. So record your version, prove your points, and win your case. Number nine, communication. To pass information these days, untraceable information, is next to impossible. Be clever, use tangible, not digital items. Be stealth and use sleight of hand. Number 10, tactical vehicle handling. When all else fails, you've gotta get out of there. From planes to choppers, it's important to have a basic understanding of a variety of vehicular vessels. Keep a distance from all the vehicles around you for maneuverability. Be quick, get off the X, escape and vanish. Which skill do you like the most? Tell me in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to learn the skills within these skill sets, subscribe and hit that bell icon and you'll get notified every time I upload. Until next time, stay badass.